Stephanie Cruz, Emma Gradston as Dr. Alexander Roslav, and also Brian's mentor at his, on this project. Um, here at the Roslab we do microfluidic devices for different bioanalysis. Uh, right now we are working on analyzing amyloid beta and all its characterization with gel electrophoresis. Yeah, as Giovanni said, um, I'm Brian, I'm a sophomore, I'm majoring in neuroscience. The main goal of our project is to analyze amyloid beta and characterize it in different ways. And then um, our end goal is to hopefully work on a research paper, which uh, we are well underway on actually. Um, so we're just working on more gels, gathering more data. Um, and I guess my goal as a beginning researcher is to get more experience and dip my hands more into research, um, kind of see like the thought process behind um, Giovanni's mind and like other experienced researchers um, and kind of apply that to um, my goal of being a, a doctor one day and just kind of go from there. So our motivation to study amyloid beta is its relevance in Alzheimer's disease. As you may know, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder commonly known by memory loss, but it also affects other cognitive and motor skills. So amyloid beta is synthesized in our body as monomers, but it has a tendency to aggregate first into oligomers and then forming the insoluble plaques that have been observed in the brains of Alzheimer's disease people. But uh, these plaques have also been observed in brains of people that never present symptoms of Alzheimer's disease or, or other dementia. So uh, here the amyloid beta hypothesis um, considers that these soluble small oligomers are the neurotoxic species on the disease. And that's why we are interested in studying amyloid beta and we are using different techniques to identify and characterize different species of this.